Hi everyone, it's Elsie here with another Hip Kit Club process video. Today I'm creating in my December album again and I'm using the November 2019 and December documented 2019 kits um, to create a few pages. So I'm just showing you um, the previous pages I have created since my last video. Uh, these were created for the blog and now I'm um, yeah, doing the next few pages. So I was uh, challenged to create um, something with lots of sparkle and to include my favourite things. So a few of my favourite things are, well, sparkle, but also I love using cut files and I haven't actually used any cut files in this album yet. So I thought it was high time that I um, did so. So off camera I've already backed, um, cut and backed this cut file which is designed by Annette and it's called Star Wreath and I'm pretty sure it's um, one of the subscriber exclusive ones but I'll link to the cut files down below so you can double check that. Um, and yeah I've packed it with various papers from the kits and I cut the cut file in half and mirrored those halves together so they would look the same on both sides like when you flip the page over um, and yeah that was really simple to do in my silhouette software. So I'm also backing this little piece with uh, the some other specialty vellum we got in the December documented kit I think um, there's so much in these kits I can never remember which is in what um, but yeah the uh, vellum is super pretty it's just like it's gold polka dot um, but I wasn't too keen on how it looked on the reverse side when you flipped the page over so I decided to double up the vellum and match the dots up together so it would kind of it would create a thicker piece of vellum but the gold dots would be on both sides so um, yeah, I really enjoyed the way that looked. And now I'm kind of um, going back a bit and I'm uh, creating a couple of pockets um, with uh, the pocket life cards and things like that. Um, these acetate die cuts came in one of the kits and I absolutely love this little jar. Um, it's just blank so you can add whatever you want into it or onto it and create your own little scene. I decided to create basically my own shaker pocket. So I um, firstly added a few small tree stickers um, and put pop them on a little like snowy hill. And then I used a three by four inch piece of acetate and stitched the jar onto that and um, filled it a bit with sequins and then uh, close the ends up and yeah it kind of creates this like little see-through um, pocket but uh, it kind of the jar sits really nice and neatly in like the middle of the pocket because I was th thinking of ways to do it and I was just gonna sort of um, you know adhere some acetate onto the back of it um, in the shape of the jar but then I thought no because it would just be flopping around all over in the pocket so yeah just used a three by four bit of acetate and yeah, we get acetates in the kits as well. So I've had this page in mind since I started the album and I was just like, I'm just gonna go for it and do it on uh, for this, um, this uh, post today. And yeah, I just wanted to create a few see-through pages, set a scene, because I've been tasked to create, you know, using my favorite things and my favorite thing is uh, creating scenes uh, in my crafting. So yeah, I'm just gonna create a little snowy um, sort of scene with one of those sticker stickers of the girl hanging like the tree ornament and holding a cat, uh, <laughs> which is just adorable. Um, yeah, and when I fill this album up with photos, uh, it, it will be around this sort of day where we put our tree up. So um, yeah, this kind of page fits quite nicely in place where it is in the album. So off camera I uh, punched out some snowflakes and um, I'm now just scattering them around on this piece of acetate. Um, I used cardstock from the cardstock kit to create the tree and just added some machine stitching just to add a little bit more detail 
and yeah these snowflakes kind of just really finish off the page I think. So with these pages, um, the see-through pages, you kind of have to make sure that on the back of the pages um, it works nicely. I mean you could just leave them, it would be fine, you just see the adhesive but uh, since I want this to kind of have a nice flow to it I wanted uh, the other side to mirror um, what's on this side so I just did exactly the same thing again and added um, another tree and a little snowbank. Um, there's obviously no reverse sticker um, of the girl <laughs> so she, you're just going to see the white backing of that but that's fine. Um, and yeah the glue I use dries clear so you, I um, on the back of the snowflakes you really can't see the adhesive so um, yeah I didn't double up the snowflakes. And then I decided to create another shaker pocket. <laughs> uh, these are my favourite things. Um, and yeah, I'm now creating like a little snowy background bank kind of thing. And I'm using lots of different types of glitter. Um, and I'm making sure that they're all the same colour. Um, just I'm using white, clear, iridescent glitter sort of to create a little snow scene. And then I'm also punching out some snowflakes from white cardstock um, and just adding those in. Um, so I'm using a pre-made um, page protector as well as just a 6x8 one from my stash and you can obviously create this with uh, by you know stitching or fusing together two bits of acetate um, but yeah I have the pocket so I might as well just use it um, and then you can see I did that little um, running stitch across the bottom of uh, the page and that was just so when I attached uh, the snow banks, uh, the glitter paper snow banks um, to these that the glitter wouldn't fall straight to the bottom. Um, so, and then you wouldn't be able to see it and it would be d difficult to move. Um, and you can see now it kind of piles on top of uh, the snow bank and it kind of creates a more like uh, realistic look, I guess. <laughs> Um, and I really like the way that you can see through um, the pages um, and it kind of helps build the scene and build perspective and yeah that's just like my bread and butter, I absolutely love it. So now another one of my favourite things is using pattern paper to do some paper piecing and I'm creating a little uh, festive red uh, post box, um, yeah just the papers in this kit are yeah, that red paper is just perfect. It's perfect post box red. So yeah, I'm just it's very easy to do, just basically cutting a rectangle and a few um you know, a round little bit for the lid. <laughs> What's it called? The lid of the post box, I guess. Um and yeah, I would normally hand stitch, um, but I decided to do some machine stitching today because it's quicker. Um and yeah, I just used some matching red thread and just kind of stitched around just to add a little bit more, um, you know, sort of detail and interest. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. So yeah, I also added some stickers, like a little house sticker and the trees and yeah, obviously a little path, floral die cuts. Um, yeah, it's just all my favorite things. And um, in terms of photos, I will, I've obviously said this before, I will add them after I've basically done the whole album because I don't have a photo printer at home. But yeah, just finished it off with a few little bits of embellishments and yeah, I hope you're inspired to sort of create a few pages in your albums, uh, make a few or several shaker pockets like me. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you check out the hit kits, they'll be linked below and I shall see you next time. Bye everyone.